Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is John Brahman. I'm a graphic designer and illustrator. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make editable type that has a effect on it. In this case, I'm gonna show a shadow effect on the text. So it's got the text here and a nice shadow is cast off in vector format. And what's gonna make this a little bit more special is using the appearance panel, the text is gonna be fully editable at all times. You can just go in, quickly type a new word or change the kerning or the tracking, do anything you want, the text is fully editable. It's gonna be super useful, really fast and easy. Let's get into it right away. All right, so the way that we're gonna use these effects is using the appearance panel. And the appearance panel may be something that you've dabbled in before, but probably you don't realize really how truly strong and effective it is and the amount that you can actually do in it. So to start with, you can just open any document or make a new file, it really doesn't matter. You just wanna have some type that you can then edit. So with my text selected here, I could be using any font and we can, as you can see, type in anything that we want. But I'm gonna use it effects because that's gonna be in the title of this video. My document is 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels, if that matters. It doesn't, but in case you wanted to kind of follow along with me. So I'm using this Behringer font that I got off Creative Market that I've been using a lot. And what I want to do is put an outline around this text and then kind of have a shadow. But I want to be able to edit the text in case, you know, later on I change my mind and I need to change the text. Or, you know, maybe you have a client that you're doing the design for and so on. So it's just really useful to be able to edit your type afterwards and still have all those effects kind of automatically applied. So the way that we do that is we're going to open our appearance panel. I have it just docked here on the side. But if you go to window and down to appearance, just make sure that's a checked. And there it will be. So the first key here is that you want to go over to your fill and you want to turn it into nothing. So both your fill and your stroke should be nothing. So go into your appearance panel and down here, we're just going to click this fill button and it'll automatically also add a stroke above it. It's a little bit weird and hard to explain, but this is different than how it was filled before. So what we're going to do is just make this fill white in my case. And then using the appearance panel, I'm going to grab that stroke and I'm going to make it black. Appearance panel keeps wanting to disappear, so I'm just gonna drag it out so that it's easy to see. So the stroke is going to be black, and I wanna definitely pump it up. Now, you can see that it is affecting the inside of my text, which I don't want. And over here, you can see I can't actually choose the outside or inside or anything on this live effect. If I were to create this to outlines, then I could do it, but because it's a live effect, it won't let me, it's just a silly rule. So the cool thing about doing it in the appearance panel in the way that we've done it here is now we can actually grab this stroke, select it, and drag it under the fill. So now that stroke will not affect the fill. It's actually under it. It's kind of on a little special layer, basically. So we can play around a little bit with the kerning. I'll just leave it something like this. It's something I can finesse later on. But this is the basic idea of what you want. And now what we want to do is we want to duplicate the stroke. So in order to do that, we just have the stroke selected, and we're going to hit this new icon. And as you can see, it's going to duplicate it. Now, they're gonna look the same because at the moment, they're both are the same and they're in the same spot. Now, what we wanna do is go over to this FX logo, click it, and head down to Distort and Transform. And then from there, we're gonna hit Transform. So you can control exactly what you wanna do in here, but the main idea is to move this, let's just say one pixel by one pixel, and we're gonna say 10 copies and click Preview. And just like that, it is making a copy 10 times where it's moving to the left one pixel and down one pixel. We can decide whether we want that to be more, so we'll try two for the sake of it. Something like that, maybe two and one. That might work pretty much perfectly. So the main thing is the way that we've done this in the appearance panel is it is now fully editable, if we type it right. So just like that, you can type whatever you want and all of those effects stay and they are perfectly editable and you can go in there and you can change your kerning and all that kind of good stuff after the fact. All right, so hopefully you found that just as useful as I think you did. The appearance panel is really effective. It's super useful. It's something that you're probably using every day, although you're probably just changing the fill and stroke and not realizing that that's it. But the appearance panel is so much more effective than you think. You can do so much in it. This is just a small example of how much more powerful it is than you may have realized. If you found that interesting, I've actually taught an entire class on the appearance panel and I go way deeper into it and I show way more cool effects and things that you can do. That's on Skillshare, so it's skillshare.com slash John Bromit. I'll put the you know link in the description below. But if you like it, check it out. Skillshare is a paid platform. I think it's about $10 a month and you can usually sign up for about 99 cents for your first two months. It's super inexpensive and you can watch all of my classes. I've got, I'm getting close to 30 now and then you can watch other people's classes, it's awesome. So check that out if you're interested. 
Either way, make sure you hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll keep putting out free content on YouTube. Thanks, guys. Bye.